point of view, the justice system for juveniles right here in Colorado could be changing soon. Gabrielle Franklin explains. What I think needs to change is how we address these young kids. And we're talking fourth, fifth, sixth graders, the young kids. Lawmakers at the state capitol are trying to do that through House Bill 1249. The measure would raise the minimum age a child can be prosecuted by a juvenile court to 13. Right now, that age is 10. Homicide can still be prosecuted at 10. You're seeing these 10 to 12 year olds do more kind of stupid things. Liesl Pettis is a former prosecutor and now a senior fellow with Think Tank R Street Institute. She supports the bill this year after a similar effort failed last year. The new bill would require every county in the state to participate in a local collaborative management program, a program that brings together services for at-risk, high system use children and their families. The programs must serve 10 to 12 year olds and form service support teams to create plans for the young people. This is something where you have um, an actual team that comes together to say, how do we individually support this kid so that they can get past whatever is making them act out in their life. The support teams may find no services are needed for the child after they've been in trouble. The Department of Human Services would need to provide technical support for these teams. The bill would allow kids 10 to 12 to be taken into law enforcement custody for safety. Law enforcement would have to complete a form referring the child to the management program. It would also allow victims of the acts committed by the 10 to 12 year olds to obtain a copy of the form from law enforcement and see what victim services and compensation is available. These are improvements supporters believe will make the bill stronger and more successful. It doesn't mean that there aren't some violent crimes, but at that age, they're really in the best spot to respond to treatment and rehabilitation. At the state capitol, Gabrielle Franklin, Colorado Point.